Hi, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.net, and uh, we, uh, Maya and I are out here in Bend, Oregon at the world famous Summit High School. We're getting a little R&R, &R, about five days having shaved for about a week. I'm feeling good, but I want to get you a quick tip here. And a drill that you can use for uh, return to serve in doubles, specifically when you're having to receive serve on that second serve. And you know, so often what we think about with returning serve when we got a second serve coming in is just a, just kind of unload and it's sort of an opportunity to try to hit a winner. And really what I want you to try to start thinking about is that it's much more technical than that because you want to be, you really want to be consistent. So what we're gonna do here is sort of set up a little drill that just just two of you can do. You don't need four players to do this drill. And uh, one player serves the other one for say, you know, 10 minutes and then you guys switch. The three keys here that I want you to work on are number one, are gonna be soft hands because really what you're trying to do is you're trying to create space to the path of that incoming second serve. Even if it's, even if it's slow, you've really gotta get the right spatial distance away from the path of that incoming ball. The first way you do that is with soft hands so that when you react to the direction, either forehand or backhand, your soft hands allow you to get that shoulder turn. So number one, soft hands. Number two, react to the direction of the, uh, of the incoming serve with your shoulders. And then number three, what we're to work on is trying to make sure that you move your feet so that you get the right spacing away from the path of the ball. So we're going for soft hands so we can get these shoulders to turn. And, and then that serve right there was actually sort of right in my sweet spot. Didn't have to do a lot of footwork, but really you want to be conscious of that terms of soft hands turning and then if you've got to move your feet to adjust to the path of the incoming ball well that's what you got to do and in doubles what do we do I mean the geometry is such that if we're trying to get in behind the second serve the serve most likely is going to come right at us to where we need to create space by getting away from the ball in singles it's more about getting over to the ball in doubles you really want to use your footwork to help you get out of the path of the incoming ball. We go soft, turn, and then move against that ball. Make sure that your feet are helping you create space so that you can really take that second serve, return a serve, come in behind it, and put a ton of pressure on that server because you're consistently getting in behind that second serve. All right, hope you're having as much fun as we are. Uh, any questions, Brent at webtennis.net. Have a great day out there. Hi, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.net, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that tip on those you know, three elements you really need to practice on, on that second serve, return to serve, and doubles. And, you know, the more you practice it, obviously the better you get. And one of the results is, as you see on that graphic right, right there in the screen, is you start to get opponents to double fault to you. And once you get that going, you know, doubles is really just so much fun.